guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a how-to on color correcting using the new Sleek Makeup Color Correcting Kit. I've teamed up with Sleek for this video because you guys loved the last video I did. It was a how-to on highlighting and contouring. So if you want to watch that, I will leave that in the link down below. But yeah, basically I am going to show you how to use all the colors and where they go, what they're meant for, and show you how to perfect your base. This palette came out yesterday, so you can get your hands on it now. I will leave the link to all the products that I use, but especially obviously the palette in the description bar down below. So as you can see, this palette is like literally pocket sized and it contains all the colours you would need to neutralise or perfect any kind of skin issue that you're facing. I know for me it's mainly redness, but like I said, I go through every colour in this video and show you where to put it and what they are used for. So I really hope you enjoy. So if you want to learn how to get this skin, then please keep watching. Okay, so starting off with a completely bare face, I think it works best to apply the concealers underneath your foundation, just so this way you can see all the kind of areas that would need color correcting in their clearest form, if that makes sense. You've not got anything on top, so you wanna go ahead and prep and prime your skin as you normally would. And then I'm gonna show you the palette and kind of take you through step by steps where I would apply each color on my face and then apply the rest of my skin makeup. So here is the palette as you can see and I would have showed you before obviously super pocket size, super small so kind of all the colours you would need are all in one place so perfect for travelling and saves you having to buy like separate colours for each part. So to start off with on my skin I'm going to go in with the green shade. So in order to hide kind of like imperfections correctly you want to neutralise the colour that you're trying to conceal. So for instance red is the colour that is directly across from green from the colour wheel. So taking the green concealer I'm going to be applying this on top of any redness. It really helps to get rid of any redness so it's really good for spots and stuff like that. So I'm going to take a little brush and pick up some of the green concealer. It picks up a lot of products straight away. All of these colours are super, super creamy, so it should last you a long time as well. You shouldn't find that you run out of this lot because a little goes a long way. So for me, I don't have a huge amount of blemishes, but I do have some on my chin, and I do find that I get really red here, like on the sides of my nose. So that's where I'm going to be concentrating the green concealer. And then, like I said, just on any little red blemishes that you might have. Like so. So the next colour on the palette is the purple shade. This one's really good for kind of neutralising any yellowness, if that makes sense. So when I say yellow, that kind of implies, in terms of skin, any kind of like dull complexion. So you want to apply this to any places that you might have slightly darker, not necessarily your dark under eyes, but just any places that you want to brighten and kind of give a bit more life to your skin. So if you find that your skin all over might be quite like sallow and dull, go ahead and apply it all over. That's why I'd like sometimes um, also like tinted primers are good for colour correcting as well. If you want a bit more coverage then concealers are the way to go. So this palette's perfect. So I'm just taking it again on the brush and for me I'm probably going to apply this more sort of here just because that's where I find it kind of gets the most darkest and want to give it a bit more life to my skin and actually maybe a bit around my mouth as well. So the next colour is this pink shade and this is perfect for anyone that wants to kind of add radiance and get rid of any kind of darker coloured spots and that sort of thing. But for me I'm kind of using this more for the radiance tool so I'm going to apply this in the places that I want to kind of, like kind of like the purple one but kind of brighten up and add a bit more light to my skin. Actually I kind of have a few darker spots more like down the bridge of my nose and towards the side of my skin. You can kind of see a few here. So I'm kind of kind of going to press that on to get maximum coverage as well. Like so. Obviously you, you don't always have to apply every single colour. I'm just demonstrating how to use this whole palette and showing you how to get maximum wear from it. So the next colour is the orange shade. Now this one is kind of meant for more um, darker to medium skin tones. As the orange and the yellow kind of do the same thing. But obviously it would depend on your skin tone which one you use. I'm just going to use both because I'm just going to show you how to use them both. But orange is perfect for neutralising blue. You guys know I always say when I um, wear like orange tones on my eyes and stuff, it really makes the blue 
pop to kind of if they're next to each other but orange on top of blue really helps to cancel it out so this is what you want to apply to kind of like your dark circles or any sort of like i don't know maybe if you had like bruising or anything like that but this is really good for dark circles underneath your eyes <laughs> As you can see, they blend on super, super easily. And they're kind of in a palette that you would think is like a thick concealer formula. But they go on really, really creamily. So you know they're going to blend really nicely into the skin without leaving too much product. And feeling like you're wearing a lot of makeup. Because this looks like you've got so much on your face. But it's really a thin amount. But it's doing a lot. It's really pigmented. I also find I get quite blue here. I don't know if anyone else does. Kind of like in their inner corner. So this colour is perfect for that. And you could use this on your eyelids as well if you find that you get quite dark pigmented eyelids. I know quite a few people have that issue. So like I said, the next colour in the palette is this yellow one. And this one is really good for neutralising like purple undertones and stuff. So really good for getting rid of any veins or again like dark circles. So for me, I'm actually going to take the yellow one onto my eyelid. Because that's where I get the most veins and kind of it's like the darkest areas for me. As you can see... I have quite veiny, veiny eyelids. I look like a flower. But also I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top of the orange to give it a bit of extra brightness as well. And actually, which of my nose has a few veins, so. And then finally, the blue shade is really good, like the orange one. The orange one was good for cancelling out blue. Blue is good for cancelling out orange. So you're probably thinking like, what's orange on your skin but for people that might want to um, conceal freckles or anything like that or might have like hyperpigmentation the blue shade is ideal for doing that so once you've applied the kind of colors that you want to use obviously you don't have to use every single color every single time i've just applied them all for the purposes of demonstration just kind of showing you what color goes where and kind of obviously describing to you as well where the colors would go but like i said once you've applied all the concealer that you want to i would go ahead and blend it in with a damp sponge to absorb any excess product and really press it into the skin you don't want to kind of use buffing motions or anything like that because you're going to take it away from whatever you've just applied so i would go ahead and blend it with a a sponge so as you can see there's already like a massive difference in terms of brightness on my skin i know obviously it's brightness in the sense that all the colors were quite pale but you can see there's a like you can't really see any blemishes or any darkness underneath my eyes or anything like that and I haven't even put foundation or like my regular concealer on already. So this is why color correcting is actually such an important step if you're really wanting to achieve that flawless base and kind of look airbrushed and all that jazz. A lot of it is underneath your foundation that like really makes a difference. So that's all the concealers blended into my skin. As you can see, my skin appears a lot more bright and a lot more radiant, which is kind of the whole purpose of that palette. And I really don't feel like I'm wearing a huge amount of makeup. I can still see bits of my skin through it. The, the concealers are not too thick at all. Obviously, if you apply layers and layers and layers, they're going to be thick, but they're super pigmented in color, but they're not too thick. So you need minimal amount to do a maximum amount, if that makes sense. A little goes a long way with these so, so yeah i definitely recommend if you struggle with any kind of blemishes or color correcting or there's just something missing in your base and you want to achieve that flawless finish try out color correcting don't spend like 30 pounds on a single concealer when you can get it all in a mini palette and i think these are only 7.99 if you're from the uk and 10.99 if you're from america but I will leave it linked down below. But yeah, once you've applied your concealers and all of that, you want to go ahead and apply your foundation on the top. And again, don't buff it in because you'll move, even though you've pressed it into your skin, you can still move around the concealer. So I would use either the same sponge or more like a dabbing, dabbing motion on your skin to apply your foundation on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then we will continue with the rest of the face. So this is with foundation applied on the top and as you can see, for me personally, I feel a lot more like brighter underneath my eyes and everything just feels a lot more flawless and a lot more even in colour. I don't find that there's areas that are darker than others. I feel like I've really managed to affect my base, if that makes sense. So going ahead still, I'm going to continue with 
cream products because I'm not yet finished just because my foundation is applied I still obviously want a bit of like contour and concealer I'm going to use the sleek cream contour kit in medium you guys have seen me use this before and you guys know I love it a lot if you want to know how to highlight and contour as well using this I do have a video on it and I can leave that in the link down below as well but yeah I'm just going to apply this where I normally would for contour and highlighting to kind of bronze and finish up and perfect my skin I find because of the colour correcting I've, I need to apply kind of less concealer because the underneath has done a lot for me so as a result of colour correcting you almost need to apply less face makeup if that makes sense so that's always a bonus but yeah I'm just going to go ahead and blend this all in again. once you've applied all the creams to your face you want to go ahead and set them all in place with powder so I'm going to take the sleek luminous pressed powder and just dust that all over my face I'm feeling like having quite dewy luminous skin today so I'm going to take the sleek face form contouring and blush palette in the shade medium and I'm going to take this shimmery bronzer and use that as a bronzer blusher I'm taking my favorite blush from Seek you guys know this this is in the color rose gold and just and dusting this on the apples of my cheeks and to finish off this skin makeup I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna take the sleek highlighting palette in precious metals and take the powder color just here and apply that to the, all the places that I want to highlight which is essentially everywhere I'm just going to go ahead and apply mascara and then I'll be back to apply a lip option. So once you've gone ahead and done that, I'm just going to apply a lip, like I said, and this is one of the lip plumping crayons. Yeah, you heard me. From Sleek in Notorious Nude. So basically a nude crayon that's going to plump your lips rather than a gloss. So first I've ever heard of these. So if you like things that plump your lips and I've got a few colours to choose from as well in this, then you'd love this. So I'll leave it all linked down below. So kept everything super minimal as this is the finished makeup look. I just kind of wanted this to be a skin focused video and mainly show you how to use obviously the colour correcting palette from Sleek. I really hope you guys enjoyed these videos. I love doing how to videos for you guys and you loved the last one that I did so I definitely wanted to do it again. All the products I've used will be in the description bar down below and if you wanted to get your hands on the colour correcting palette it is obviously like I said linked down below because it came out yesterday and it's $7.99 if you're from the UK and $10.99 if you're from the US so definitely worth picking up if you want to really perfect your skin without breaking the bank. But yeah thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up for more how-to videos and if you like the occasional educational video now and again make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye guys